Hello and welcome to Big Tech Tutorials. In today's video, I will be showing you how to convert a JPEG or a PNG, these here are PNGs, into SVG files so that you can use to cut with whatever cutter you might have. So let's get started. It's fairly simple. This is Corral Draw, and in this software, it's got a very nice uh, trace feature, which you can get to by right clicking here going over to outline trace and then you can select from either one of these I always start at line art and then move my way down if I'm not satisfied so let's start with line art and there you go usually it'll be on settings here's where you get to move and let's say you don't like line art you'll try logo in our case line art works just fine so leave it on line art if you go over to colors it'll show you here the number of colors that it has found or that it has created for us in this vector uh, remake of that JPEG. You got black, you got reddish, and a pinkish. So go ahead and hit OK. And if you move it aside, as you can see, you now have a vector. And here's another example for you. This one's got a little bit more colors, or a few more colors in it. So we're going to right click, we're going to go to Outline Trace, go to Line Art. That was a way bigger image. So it's telling you that it needs to be reduced. That's fine. It'll do it on its own. Just click on Reduce Bitmap. Might take a little while longer because it was such a huge file. And there we go. And as you can see, in the Colors tab, this one has seven colors. Here you can play with the colors. Uh, when you click on the color, it'll put lines through whatever color is represented here. So that one is the main. This one is just a little outline you can barely tell there. So let's say if you wanted for those two to be the same color to kind of reduce the amount of uh, vinyl maybe you have to use, you can go and click on one, hold the control key, click on the other one and hit merge. In my case, I think I want to just get rid of this little outline color. So I'm going to go ahead and hit remove with this little trash can here. And see what it did was it made it the same color as the eyes, the nose and everything else. So that's one less color I have to worry about when cutting out either with construction paper or vinyl, depending on what you're using, you know, the, well, what project you're creating with this. So go ahead and hit OK. Same thing. If you click and move aside, you see that you have a vector. A lot of people have asked me in the past, why, why can't it cut? Why can't the cutter just take the image and cut it? Well, if you go to View over here and you go to Wireframe. Here's the easiest way to explain why. These are bitmaps. You see, they just look kind of washed out here. There is no actual path for the cutter to follow. It's all one to the machine, so it does. It wouldn't know what to do. Whereas this here, in the regular mode, seems to be the same, but under wireframe, you get to see that there's an actual path for your blade to follow when cutting out your vinyl or your paper, whatever you're choosing to use as your media. So yeah, just a quick rundown. Let's go back to enhanced. So now let's say you wanted to go ahead and export this to use in your Cricut cutter or your silhouette or whatever color you're using. Uh, the easiest way to do so is go to file, export, and then make sure you click on the uh, save as type here, move it over to SVG, Put it in whatever folder you want to put it in. Label it whatever you want to label it. I am obviously already have one there. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit yes. And then uh, leave everything alone. I found that, that those default settings work pretty much with any software I've used it with. So I don't move it. Hit OK. And there you go. The resulting file will be a file that you can use in your Cricut, Silhouette, uh, Flexi, whatever software you use to output to your cutter. Thanks for stopping by, guys. And uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I'll see you on the next one.